took my boat to the shop. I'm getting the trolling motor fixed finally. My water pump was going bad, so they're replacing that. So it's gonna be in there for a couple days. I got this blow boat, it's made by Sea Eagle. It's a really good boat. I'm excited to get back on it. I've had it for years and I, I used to use it a little bit when I first got it, but I haven't used it since I got my new boat. In the beginning, I wanted to get a kayak. You know, everybody was getting buying kayaks and doing kayak fishing. I have a hard time fishing while I'm sitting. I like to stand and be able to fish. When I saw this, I saw that they have a raft that goes around you. They have a board that goes in there and you can literally stand inside the boat. It won't tip over or anything like that. And when I saw that, I was like, that's what I want. And at the time I had, I didn't have a truck. I had, I don't know, some kind of car or something like that. I could throw that in my trunk. That was the main reason I bought this over a kayak. And I, I know that you can put a kayak in a car and so on, but then you gotta buy extra stuff. All I had to do was buy this, put it in my trunk, go fishing. So I'm gonna take this out today. It's been in my garage for a couple of years, got a little mold on it, so I'm gonna power wash it down real quick and then put it all together and go out fishing. So I made it to the lake. It was a long walk to the lake. Brought my kids here with me. They're at the beach with Angela. They're way over there. I don't know if you can even see that on this camera. I'm on a lake that I actually hate. Sorry, I'm a little tangled in the weeds here because of those weeds. I'm usually here in my big boat and I'm very limited to where I can go because like I said, the weeds are very, very thick here. I've got stuck multiple times where I had to push myself out with random things in my boat that I had to use as oars and stuff. So this boat should work a lot better for that because I can go right up in the pads, get myself out with the oars, and hopefully have a decently decently good fishing day. So I'm gonna go right up in the weeds today. I'm gonna be wearing these today, or one of these, not all of these. But the good guys at Volk Sporting Goods, they, they sent me these, and I really appreciate it. I wanna give a big thanks to them. They don't pay me to do this, but you know, I'm gonna give them a shout out for definitely sending me these. I love these things. They gave me some for hunting, and I use them all the time. I gotta get to where I'm trying to fish, which is way that way. So I'll be back in a little bit. So I'm really sorry if this is out of focus. I'm sure it's better out of focus than in focus looking at my ugly face. But last week when I cast one of my bigger deep diving lures out and it spooled me, I wasn't able to use it again. So I gotta take a quick break and I gotta spool my braid real quick because I'm gonna be throwing in this these heavy weeds with a probably a three quarter ounce jig. Some of this gets pretty deep and I wanna get down deep real quick. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna start fishing. I'm gonna throw whatever this thing is, I can't remember. But I saw uh, some bedding fish and sitting on a bed and I have had good luck with this lure. Ow! Whatever this thing is called, I cannot remember off the top of my head right now. I know I'll have it in a second or like three days from now or after this video is posted. But anyway, I have luck with this and then this little black yum worm. People probably make fun of me because I use yum because it's like a cheap brand. But I'll tell you what, this little worm right here, and they make a white one. But this little worm right here and a white one on this setup right here, I always catch fish. Don't hate on the paddling technique boring technique, whatever you want to call this. It's been a while since I've done this. Told you. Works every time. It's a good one. Every time. That's a good dust keeper for sure. Easily a 14 incher. You guys can see it, but I caught this one. I had to throw it in there three or four times, but I knew that black worm was going to catch him. It was on its bed. So I got to get her back to her babies. But first fish of the day. Look at the fish. Look at the fish.
that one actually. Healthy little fish. 12 incher. Get out of this tree. Come on, guy. It's not real big, but it weighs about 25 pounds. Right oh, actually, it's a keeper. Holy cow, that's actually a good sized bass. Alright, don't fall off. Not expecting that. Ooh, oh, oh, dude, come on. Yeah, look at that. Is that you? Morning. So I came out again this morning. Uh, or I'm out. It's a different morning. But this is part of my fishing Friday, so. But I'm back out in the little uh, Sea Eagle today again, and we're going to do some fishing. I came to another local lake. It's decently close. It's probably only maybe 200, 300 acre lake. I'm not real sure. It's not very big. It's an, another gravel pit that got turned into a lake here in, in, in Lansing, but it's been in the lake probably longer than I've been alive. I'm going to throw off some line. I, I, I tied up last night for some top water. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually a little scared because I should have put some more air in a boat. It's a little wobbly, but we should be fine, right? I never mess up. Let's have some fun. Pretty slow morning. Broke my line. I knew I did not tie that. I knew I didn't tie that. Right. There we go, finally got a fish. Skip to what I know, man. Skip to the break. I've been trying to throw all these other ones. But do what I know, right? It's not big, but... So... It's been a pretty slow day. I only caught a couple dinks. I feel like I'm fiddling with the boat more than I am fishing, but or this raft or whatever you want to call it. But it's um, still fishing. No, not very big. That literally just hit the water. Literally just hit the water. A big one, but still, like, that's just weird. 
That was right in his mouth. Get him, tiger. So I've just spent the last 20 minutes or so fixing my reel. There you go. What's this? There you go. Got a nice one. Better. Well, I guess not that big. Best one of the day, though. Probably. Open up, buddy. Lost it. No. It's a bluegill, seriously? Sorry. First keeper of the day. Not bad. That's definitely a 14 incher. So, not too bad. Wow. Morning. So, I ended up going out to a lake I thought I had access to. I drove all the way out there. It was like a 35, 40 minute drive. I guess it's not that far, but um, got out there and it's a private lake. And somebody told me that you could get back there through a, like, through a liquor store or something like that. They you pay five bucks or whatever. I could not find that liquor store, so I don't know what they were talking about. I ended up just going back to the lake that I was at the other day. I was hoping to have like a new lake, new experience, and so on today, but didn't work out for me. I guess I should have looked more into it. Oh well, it is what it is. I'm still gonna fish and I am still outside. Let's see how it goes. Really weed, you know, which is not a bad thing. Here's where I want to go. Got one. Good one. I saw him coming. Maybe not that big, I guess. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, that's a decent one. Keeper. There you go. That's what I was looking for. I saw him coming out of the pads. This one. It's a keeper. It's, it's pretty darn close though. It's easily 13 inches. Caught this now. I don't know why my camera wasn't on. It's 
something very slow. And I wanna catch some more. But the fish is kinda slow. So I don't know. Two seven five. Just got this one. Two point seven seven pounds. He's a big fish. Gotta let him go though. It's been a few minutes. Another good one. Holy cow. It's as big as the last two, but it's still a good one. No. Not two pounds. It's a good one though. I don't think it's very big. Nope, not at all. Entertainment. How are you doing, little guy? Why are you coming after this big old bait? Trying to get big like those other guys, huh?
Got one. Not the head, sure. I don't know what this is. It doesn't feel too bad. Bro. Oh, you're on camera. Right, I didn't really get to do an outro on this video. It's actually been a couple days since I've been out fishing, but I've been pretty busy. I did get my boat back, so I will be going out my boat in the next few days. But I am going to continue using the Sea Eagle. I really do like it. You know, if you want to get in those hard to reach areas, it's easy to use. You know, you just pull up the controller motor and use the oars to get across the pads. I had no problem getting across the pads, you know, uh, with the oars, it was, it was super easy. So I do plan on using it in the near future, even though, you know, I have my boat back. It's actually easier on gas. And there's a lot of little ponds and little lakes that I've been wanting to go to that I haven't went to because I have my big old boat. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna start doing that more often. If you guys are interested in more information on the sea eagles uh, i'll put the link down below i don't work for them they have no idea i'm making this video but good products should get noticed so you know leave a comment if any of you guys use that or you've been thinking about getting i'll be happy to answer any questions that i think i can answer thanks for watching comment down below hit that like button subscribe once again i gotta go